However, Buddhism has spread into new lands and encountered new cultures. A process of integration has taken place as the universal truths of the Dharma find expression in new contexts. Buddhism addresses itself to all human beings at all times and in all places. But most people have come to the conclusion that there's some special meaning or sacred message within the symbol, that it's not just a series of geometric and abstract designs, that there is significance to the art. And this is really where your own imaginations come into to play because we get a chance to use our magic. Now, under the guiding hand of Sangapala, Buddhism is meeting the Celtic culture of Ireland, a rich and powerful tradition stretching back many centuries, replete with a vast heritage of myth and symbol. Joined recently by Ratnabandhu, Sangapala has been running activities in Dublin since March 1991. Dublin is a lively and cosmopolitan European capital with a rich cultural heritage of its own especially in the field of literature. Today, the Temple Bar area is a focus for much cultural activity. Classes were originally held in a small flat on historic Raglan Road. Then, in May 1993, the Dublin Sangha opened an impressive new centre in the heart of the Hibernian metropolis. From the mural on the outside wall, depicting scenes from Celtic mythology, to the shrine room inside, there is a distinctly Celtic feel to the centre. Sometimes the Heart Sutra is to be heard recited in Irish. With the new centre, Sangapala and Ratnabandhu have been able to greatly expand the number and range of classes and events. There is a growing core of friends and already six mitras, one of whom works full-time for the centre. <laughs> for the past three years, retreats have been held in Sandville House and picturesque County Cavan where the mythic context of the Dharma can be explored more fully. This aspect of Buddhism is very important in Ireland, and solstice festivals have become a feature of these retreats. Thank you. 